everybody. I'm back out here fooling with this Suburban today. It's a 93 model, TBI 350. It's got a blowed head gasket or cracked head, cracked block, something. But the motor's on its last leg, it smokes, it's ticking, knocking, everything you can think of is doing it. So I figured I'd uh, do a little video on me just cranking it up, putting her to the floor, and letting it go until it blows, put her out of her misery, see what happens. I got this thing cheap as hell anyhow. So blowing it up ain't gonna hurt my feelings. But yeah, she got a little water in the oil. Alright, so it's been a few days since I last fooled with the Suburban. But uh, today's the day that we're gonna put this little TBI 350 out of its misery. I've already unbolted the torque converter. I way if it locks up or anything. I won't have to worry about fighting that. I pulled a valve cover off. Just looking at stuff, really pulled a couple plugs out, just looking around. Uh, probably just leave the valve cover off while I do this. I got a little knockoff GoPro here I'm going to try to set up. All I got to do really is I'm going to jump under there and uh, pull the drain plug and drain all the milkshake oil out of it. That way it can, you know, destroy itself a little easier and quicker. And maybe have some more carnage or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, your oil shouldn't be brown like chocolate milk. Still draining. Got jumper cables hooked up to my truck. Letting that charge up good because I noticed this shit ain't going to start right up. So how long will a little TBI 350 with 300,000 miles and blowed head gaskets run on three cylinders with some knocking noises and tapping noises and some smoke? Uh, yeah, I wonder how long it'll last. I'm hoping it don't last too long. Mainly because my neighbors around here don't really like me for some odd reason. And uh, had the law called on me a couple of times. Don't really know why. <laughs> That's what we're looking like on the little action camera. Let's see if it'll start. Uh oh. Oh, that's a cold start, too. Man, old girl started right up. What I got to do, I forgot. I got to find something to uh, jam between that gas pedal and right there. That way we can get a little red line for a good time going. I didn't even realize that this thing's got power seats, man. Fancy, fancy. Works, too. Look at that. I believe that'll work flawlessly. All right, let's see if it'll start like that. at all of 38 seconds just literally still got oil draining out of it which i mean it ain't it ain't got none in it but i don't see any holes in the oil pan anywhere i think it might have just seized up from lack of oil. Maybe I should have just left the oil in it and seen how long it would last. I don't know. Oh well. Took all eight plugs out. No water or nothing come out of them, so I know it ain't hydrolocked. Tried rolling it over with the crank pulley, but that stripped out. I'm pretty sure it just seized up, which, I mean, it's got over 300,000, and I've already redlined a pretty good bit before this video, and then the other video I made in it. Well, 
she didn't last as long as I wanted it to, which uh, I guess I didn't want it to last real long anyhow. But I wanted it to last at least a few minutes or, or maybe make some kind of grand explosion. But nothing too exciting. So it is what it is. We'll get another one eventually. Maybe we can do this again and have something a little cooler happen or last longer or something, you know. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this one. If you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more later.